Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action this morning. Independent safety advocates are sounding the alarm about Chrysler's recall of certain Jeep vehicles. Regulators have called the location of the gas tank on the vehicles a safety risk because of how it hangs below the rear bumper. Consumer reporter Susan Hogan joins us now with the details. That's right. According to federal safety regulators, if another vehicle crashes into the back, the fuel tank can rupture, resulting in a deadly fire. Government figures put the death toll from fires in these Jeeps upwards of 50 people so far. In 2003, Chrysler did recall 1.5 million vehicles, but there are still concerns the solution may not go far enough. 23-year-old Kayla White was eight months pregnant with her first child when her 2003 Jeep Liberty was struck from behind on a Michigan highway. This was Kayla's Jeep before the crash, and this is what it looked like afterward. The plastic gas tank melted away. Witnesses said there was an explosion when the SUV was rear-ended. Kayla died in the fire. And we don't want it to happen to anybody else. These vehicles need to get off the road. And you see them every day, and they're oblivious to it. They think oh, we're driving a safe vehicle, and you're not. Test after test has shown the potential danger of the rare mounted fuel tanks in model year 1993 through 2004 Jeep Grand Cherokees and 2002 through 2007 Liberties. In 2010, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration started investigating. For three years, Chrysler argued the vehicles were not defective and that the investigation should be closed. In 2003, however, Chrysler agreed to the recall. But how the manufacturer would repair the defect is being disputed. So Chrysler is putting a tow hitch on vehicles like this one where the gas tank is exposed in the back. About 1.5 million vehicles are affected in this recall, but safety advocates we spoke with say the fix is inadequate. It was a deal. The deal was that Chrysler had refused, 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 refused to ever do a recall of, this, of these vehicles. They knew that they had a problem, and so they wanted to do the cheapest thing that they could do. In a statement, Chrysler said the installation of a hitch assembly is the agreed upon action and that it provides incremental benefit in low to medium speed impacts. Now, NHTSA tells us that just 3% of the recall vehicles actually have been repaired, and the federal agency says many customers complain that they've been turned away from dealerships and are being told their vehicles were safe to drive without that remedy. NHTSA tells us that response was unacceptable. And if you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer with me, you can call that same number you see right there on your screen. I'm Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.